Alright, Shalawam, Shalawam, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha Raka Kodash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, who we reverence and honour to the elder apostles of Great Millstone and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe and to what Yahweh I wish I forgive me the spirit and the energy because look the scripture says they shall wear out the saints so we're very we're very worn out but guess what through the spirit and power of Yahweh we can do all things are possible through him and this lesson is going to be based as you can see the title be fully persuaded in your own mind when you hear about this, you have to be fully persuaded in your own mind. Because our thing is just to teach the word, but you have to be convinced. So we're going to go to Romans 14. All right, yeah? Good. Let's go to Romans 14, and we're going to go straight to 5. It says, one, main, one man esteemeth one day above another. So it says that. One man esteemeth a day above another. Another man... He may, he may select a particular day for a particular thing because he may have a more busy, busy schedule. Okay? As within some, it's different. A man may not, may not have a busier schedule. He may have things more, you know. In other words, a brother may be more, uh, slightly more organised because he has less time to do particular things. Or less organised. <laughs> Vice versa. Another esteem of every day alike, so one man will, he would treat every day as the same. And a man can be like that with the truth. Because if the truth is important to you, this is going to be an everyday thing. Let every man be fully persuaded. So it says, it says let every man be fully, fully persuaded in his own mind. Alright? So you have to be fully persuaded about this. In your own mind. Because you have to believe for yourself. I can't make you believe. You just teach the word and you're converted. You believe. That's through your faith. So let every man be what fully persuaded in his own mind. Because another person, they can't save you. I'm not going to be holding your hand on that chariot. Another person ain't going to be holding your hand on that chariot. Let every man be fully persuaded. When you go into that word persuaded, Baba Kasha. Oh man, did I write it down? Shit. Bear me just a minute. You know what? I didn't write it down, but when you go into that word fully persuaded, it's convinced. Okay, sure. Convinced. Okay, so you're convinced and you're sure. This is the truth. Because you may have came into this with another brother Or with a friend Even a friend, you may have had a brother that you came into the truth with A biological brother And a friend But just because you had a friend you may have known from high school That don't mean anything It's about your faith towards your Habashai Do you believe? Or did you just come into this because your friend was in it? Or it was just a fad? You really got to understand what this truth is about This is not a fad This is not a hangout it's not a hangout club. Do you really believe in Yahweh Shai? Do you really believe in this is truth? Do you really? These are the things. It's called gut check. And that's healthy. Reading the scriptures, making sure you believe the scriptures. That you're, actual, that you're actually reading. Not just reading it and putting it back down and going about your everyday life. This is real. This is a living book. When you read things, when you do lessons, you're going to be tested with the same things you're reading. The same things. So now we're going to go to Galatians 6 and 5. Baba Kishar. Brothers are here to help, but there's only so much another brother can help. 
you don't want to be that guy that's always always anytime there's an issue anytime there's a problem you're always leaning on this other individual which that's what the brotherhood is for but you're not always going to have that the, your brothers ain't always going, going to be there so you lean on another man but in terms of salvation where is your faith what, where, 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 where does your faith lie, lie? Does it lie within somebody else or does it lie within your Shai? That's the whole premise of this lesson. Let's go to Galatians, Baba Kesha. We're going to go straight to 6. Galatians 6. And we're going to start at 2. Bear ye one another's burdens. So yeah, of course, as brothers, that's what you do. Because yet you're a brother. That's what you ought to do. Okay? Bear ye one another's burdens. And what's, what's a burden? A weight. So brothers go through things in this truth. Different, various different things. There are various different temptations. Scenarios. But your scenario, your temptation, that's yours. Another man can't go through that for you. Or for me. Then days may be different to somebody else's lot. You understand what I'm saying? Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Mashiach. Why? Because that would be counted as what? Love thy brother as thyself. Okay. So a part of you bearing your brother's burdens is you loving your brother as yourself. Mate, you want the best for him. Me and this truth, you want the best for the brothers that are laboring. It's not like you want them to be destroyed, unless you're just wicked. Oh, okay. Unless this individual is just outright wicked, 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 and I can understand that. But mostly, you want your brothers to be destroyed. You, you want your brothers to be delivered. Okay. So you're going to bear his burden. You're going to tell him the things. Bear me just a minute. He needs to hear things that may help him out. In this journey, things you've been that you can share. But let every man, bear me, so I'll move it too fast. But every, if any man think of himself to be something, and that's where that pride um, sets in. Everything we were given, it was f um, through Yahweh Shai. Everything we were given was through Yahweh Shai. It was not of ourselves. It's a gift. So when you're given a gift, what do you do with that gift? You see some you see the the people of today, the when they're given gift they just chuck it, chuck, chuck it. It's like you don't appreciate that gift. Look after that gift. So the gift that we've been given, we want to what take great care of it, which is what the wisdom, knowledge and understanding. You don't hide it, we use it. When he has nothing, he deceives himself. So that's how you end up deceiving yourself. Pride. And when you read Malachi, in Malachi 1, I think it's 1 and 4, it talks about the pride of the heart have deceived thee. So when you're prideful, that's where that deception comes. Because pride is basically a false reality of who you are. So people that are very, very prideful, they have a false reality, a false perception of the world and how they see themselves and how they see others. That's why the scripture says, if any man think himself to be something, when he is not, he deceiveth his own self. And you've got to know what level we're at as well. And everybody has a different level in this truth. Okay? Everybody has different amounts of understanding in this truth. But let every man prove his own work. So prove is, um, I believe it's in the Greek, dokimon. So dokimos is to test, to try. So when it's truth, every man's work, we've got to prove ourselves. And proving us is examine, examining ourselves. Where we are at this present moment in time. What, what we could work on. What do I need to work on? What can I improve on? There's so many things. There's so many things. It doesn't, it doesn't stop. Because there's so much. There's so much I need to improve on. So it doesn't really stop. 
we're going to be a constant work in progress and see how a shirt comes back as long as you're in this flesh you're going to be a constant work in progress when he shall have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another why because you put that what you through your habashai it wasn't just you yourself but you made that conscious effort to serve your habashai to give it your all and your habashai sees that you, you, in other words you didn't make it off another man's merit you understand you understand what i'm saying you made it because you believed and you believed alone all right let's go to romans 10 and 8 we're going to shut off soon bear me just a minute let's go to romans 10 and 8 Romans Alright, this is Romans 10 and 8 But what sayeth it? The word is nigh to thee Nigh thee, even in thy mouth The word is nigh And it's, guess what, it's even in your mouth Because Why is that the case? Because others have You obviously heard this word from some men You obviously heard Some in teaching Okay So the word is nigh even in thy mouth and in thy heart, your mind. Okay, that is the word of faith which we preach. You see, that's why it's so important to have what? Those are All right. That if thou confess with thy mouth, the Lord Jehovah Shai, and thou shalt believe in thy heart that the most high raised from the scarlet to the amel. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made. So again you hear this word not everybody's going to be um a prophet not everybody's going to be a speaker not everybody's going to be a sign holder some are just going to believe and that's all okay but the com the main thing is to believe and what the confession and if you believe and you're going to confess you have a shrine i believe therefore have i spoken that's one of my favorite scriptures okay and on the flip side you could not believe but still speak but if you if you do that eventually you're just going to be found out so with this lesson i hope this is edifying and be fully 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 convinced that means really examining what you're involved in not just coming in with no utilitarian motive because your friends are doing it because you want women because you want don't come into it for that because if you have then you're going to be found out okay so with this lesson, I hope this was edifying and until the next time, Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.